Welcome to 7 days today. I'm gonna start by mining some iron. I need iron and I also need a bunch of plastic to be able to do more steel arrows. Today I'm gonna work on a base. I can do electric fences. I have a few of them to install. I'm gonna use also dot traps but I don't think I can craft them for now. But I'm gonna do it in a way then I can add them later. So it's gonna be like the second stage but for now I'm just gonna harvest a bunch of iron and clay. That's the only two things that I'm going to focus on. I'm not even going to bother with the coal and the nitrates. Because, I mean, I still have a little bit of time. I have the whole day today, the whole night and tomorrow. So let's just start by harvesting a bunch. I got coffee. I got rockbusters. So, I mean, at least one stack or two. There it is. My beautiful mind. Hello, friend. You work around here. No? Good. So I dropped iron arrows, let's change for the steel ones, and uh, well, I have room. So let's get it going. I do have a nice ramp here. Let's put one of these in the bush. I forgot to make backstrap coffee, but I mean, I don't have a lot of gunpowder. I brought, ah, I was just saying, did I bring the, the pickaxe? I did, nice. So as, an, as a side note, before I was harvesting that iron in the wasteland, it was giving me 15 each hit. This one gives me 30, so it definitely pays off to go for the mine. But in fact, I do have a few points. Since I'm gonna mine, let's see if I can top off this thing. It's just level 7, uh, I have 2 points. Uh, so let's keep going in strength. Yeah, I'm gonna need a, another one here, but yeah, I'm gonna try to top this off because mining is gonna be in my future, so why not? around here no okay i'm almost done and i got more than two stacks awesome let's just get a little bit more i still got about two minutes on the rockbusters because i don't i don't think the rockbusters works for the shovel to get clay i'm not sure but let's try it anyway let's just get out of here again holy moly this is oh boy i guess i'm gonna have to dig my way out Okay, maybe another block. Okay, now let's get some clay. Okay, I'm really hungry. And uh, what I really need is iron for now. I think I got a bunch of clay on the, on the forge. So let's go back and let's see if I can get this thing cooking. Now, to get plastic, pretty much every POI works. Those curtains and stuff like that, that's a good source of plastic. So I might just go around and get a bunch. But first, let's leave this thing cooking. And let's see if I can also craft at least another shotgun turret. I would like to install a fourth one. And maybe more electric fences. I think I only have 20. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. My leg is below 5 minutes. So let's take the health bar. You should have me speed it up. Heal it a little bit faster. Let's see if I got some... Oh yeah, there you go. I got a bunch of stuff going. 50 seconds. Let's just give it another one. And all this water. Nice. Have a nice meal. And let's see. I think I have more bacon and eggs. I don't. 
I think I found also a book for... There is the chili dog. Oh, it takes can of chili. And I found... What else? Nothing else. Maybe it's a, a drink. Yeah, this one here. It takes casino ducks, honey, and super corn that I still haven't found. But this thing should allow me to get a better deal in the trader. So that's a good thing to have. So let's see if I have some chili here. I don't have any chili. So that's the thing that I'm going to start to look for in the vending machines. To see if I can start doing it. Because it should be a lot better than this. Maybe even better than the bacon and eggs. But let's just fill it up. And uh, let's put all this iron going. There you go. So this one has a bunch of clay. This one doesn't have that much. So I think I'm going to give like this to this one. And uh, let's give it a little more. Maybe 40 minutes. There you go. What about this one? 35? No, let's give more. More time. And let's put it like this. I'm going to save some iron for me. Because I'm probably going to need it for building and stuff. And let's see this one. Maybe I have a little bit more lead and brass. Just a little bit. But let's leave the sand there. I don't know. Maybe four minutes should be enough. And let's kick in more of this bullet casings. And then just do bullet tips. There we go. Alright boy. Everything's working. So I got a few arrows here. That's nice. This thing. Let's see if I got some nitrate in coal. Uh, well, I don't have coal. So let's also maybe do some cement. Let's pick this up. It's just a little bit. So let's just kick it on this one. There you go. That's nice. And maybe in fact I'm going to do half of it in sand. So let's do it all sand. There you go. What else do I have here that I don't need? Let's leave this there. When the sand comes, it's going to be useful. So I got materials to build. So let's just drop these things here. I don't think I'm going to need 1300. Just a thousand should be enough for now. And let's see where I drop the electric fences. So let's pick up the relays, the fences. And let's see how many parts I got. So steel knuckles. This is for selling. Robotics. I'm going to try to keep. I got a lot of machete. And I got six shotgun and also some handgun. So let's see if I can do them. Shotgun parts. Shotgun. So six is to steel. Yeah, I need I need more plastic. Motion sensors and oil. I got the oil. I don't have plastic. The motion sensors. I think I have some. There you go. And the steel. I got 95. Let's see if that's enough to do one. No, I need more plastic. Uh, okay, so let's just go out and try to get some. And I mean, I don't think I cleared this house nearby. So let's go in this one. It should have a bunch of curtains. Let's see if we can clear it out. And I haven't looted it at all. There's even a bookshelf there. I guess I came through the back door. So let's see, no plastic on this one. Holy moly. So I, I think I'm gonna clean it out. Even the bed should give me springs and stuff. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? From the ceiling. Really? Thank you. Maybe I should clear it out first. Let's see what we got. Another one from the ceiling. The ceiling is not very good. I would like to know who was the architect behind this shitty house. So this thing is wide open. Pick up some extra clay. Why not? All the resources I got at this point. Even the leather. Quite unlucky that the curtains on this house are made of cloth. But there's a lot to range here. So let's pick it all up. There you go. Those lights can stay. They don't give that much. I mean, do they? Let's see. Well, they give a little bit. Why not? Even this little one here. Yeah, the electrical parts are necessary too. So let's pick it all up. Let's clean it clean. Proper cleanage. The nice TV, a flashlight. Pick up the bones too. There you go. Now I'm encumbered, but it should be okay. I think I still have a bunch of rooms. Yeah, I can scrap this. Scrap that. And uh, we're good to go. Nightstand. 
Oh, nice. This gives plastic, doesn't it? Yeah, seven plastic. There we go. It's... Oh, there it is. You gotta find the right angle. There you go, some coffee. This also gives you electrical parts. And there's a light. Nice. Let's see the room next door. Okay, some more iron. Some water. There's another light. Ooh. Holy moly. Pump shotgun schematic. And the magnum schematic. Nice. Pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to find such good things here. Nice pants. Let's uh, scrap them up. And let's get these beds. I think there's a friend coming over. Let's see who it is. It's a bunch of them. Oh, nice. Thank you. This might be a horde. Kind of need some points. So just leave my bike alone, dude. Huh? Can you just leave my bike alone? So let's drop off a few things. I'm getting a little bit full. So let's see how much plastic I got. I got oh man, just one short. That's really unlucky. So I'm not going to need this or this. The pipes, the cloth, or the parts. Got some coffee. The knuckles is for selling, so let's keep it on that box. The handgun is not for selling. Okay, a little bit better. Let's go and harvest the rest. My leg is, is nice. Is okay now. That's good. I think this gives plastic too. There you go, five plastic. So let's actually do the shotgun turrets because it's gonna take something like eight minutes, real time. So maybe better to just kick it in. Shotgun auto turrets. There we go. So I can park away everything. For the handgun, I didn't check. Let's see what it might be. It actually takes less stuff. It's cheaper. I don't have the steel though. So I would like also to do some steel arrowheads. So let's kick him in. I got 30 more. That's nice. Well, let's do, I don't know, maybe 150. And the rest just normal steel. On this one. I don't think I'm going to need anything else besides forged iron. Let's do a little bit more. 200. That should be good. So I got 36 more minutes. That's good. This one needs more. Let's give it time to craft all of that. Something like 28 minutes, 29. Let's be good. It's a little bit of a waste, but uh, that's fine. Let's just kick it in and have it doing something. So, okay. Let's just park everything away. And uh, even the steel and these things. I don't think I'm going to do the SMG turret right now. Because I already got two downstairs. What I really need is another shotgun. So let's just keep cleaning this house. And after this, I'm really going to have to start working on the base. Start installing some electric fences and stuff. Well, let's just wrench the rest of this thing. The loot respawn is disabled, so it's not like I'm going to be able to loot this one again. So let's just clean it up. There you go. Oh, there's some coal there. Not enough. But on that mine that I was harvesting iron, I have all... I have nitrate and coal there too. So that's a good thing to go back. But for now at least I think the iron was the priority. So I think these rooms are done. I'm not sure if I clean this one up. Yeah, it seems kind of... Oh, there's a light. Okay, there should be an upstairs here. How shall I go up? Uh, not sure. Because, I mean, the zombies were falling from the ceiling, so how did they get up there? That's a good question. Maybe it's from the outside. Let's wrench a bunch of stuff. Take all these resources, that's nice. I'm not sure. I think that's just a place for the zombies to stand. Maybe there's actually nothing on the roof. But I would definitely like to find a way to go up there. So, uh, well, I think I see a little spot where it might be a little easier to go. Maybe from here. Let's just open up a hole. Might have been faster just to do a few frames, but 
<laughs> okay. Would be definitely faster to do a few frames. But there you go, there's a a thing here. Could be a box. Because this is a big area. Oh, well, there's a, just a bird's nest, really. That's a bummer. So there's nothing here. I think this goes to the outside. Yeah, okay, then. It's checked. All oh, those tires, I think they give plastic too. Let's take them. There you go, 12 each. A couple of eggs. And there's a lot of plants here. I think this might give plastic too, or is it just metal? Oh, it's metal. Oh, this green curtain doesn't give anything. Oh. There's a bunch of cobble. Let's take the cobble. I can burn it in the fire. And uh, those things, I think, also give plastic. Yeah, and paper. Not too much, though. Just two. Yeah, doesn't pay off. But okay, I got a little bit of resources. I can do more later. So uh, let's just get on crafting. And I could also start seeing what I can do here. So one idea that I had would be to actually just leave this open, these three blocks, and use the fences on this fourth block here. And I can just close off these windows with a full block to force the zombies to come from the door. And once they go through here, they're going to have electric fences. Now, this might get blown up if a cop or a demolisher blows up here. These fences, even behind a little wall, are going to get destroyed. So another option that I have would be to have the fences going through this little entrance, but actually having the fences all the way down here and just having the wire come through this way. This way, it will be much farther away. Of course, I won't be able to repair them during the horde, but at least they won't get blown up. Because, for example, if a cop blows up here, if the fence is all the way down there, I don't think it's going to get blown up. So the other turret's going to go on this corner. This is the first stage with the turrets, so once the zombies manage to pass through the fences, they're going to get turrets to deal with. Another thing that I'm going to do is maybe actually remove these blocks, these two blocks, and actually put hatches. So that I can drop off from the cage and come out and actually face the zombies out here. So... I also have a bunch of room on this side, but I think I'm going to start by removing these windows. Give them less choices to come in. And open up this thing. This is going to be one entrance. Let them jump over this block. That's fine. It's not my problem. This one will be the other side where they can come in. It's just one block. They're probably going to hit these walls and destroy them. But uh, let's remove these windows. And close it. Oh, there's a goddamn screamer. Okay. I think she screamed. Well, let's see what we got. Yeah, I got the forges going. Okay, just normal zombies. Should be fine. Hello, friend. You heard the scream, did you? Who, who, who else? I guess you, it wasn't a very big scream. Holy moly! I'm here, dude. Is it me you're looking for? I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure if he knows. And another screamer. Okay. Did this one scream? That's the question. Okay. I think we're good. Let's continue. So I was destroying these ones. That's done. Since I already have these, these open areas here, I could actually install the dot traps on this block. But uh, I'm not sure. The dot traps, I could have them on both sides, shooting in. Basically having a trip wire. And once they get zapped, they get stunned, stuck in place, and the dot traps finish them off. That's the idea. But I'm not sure if I'm going to have them on both sides, because it would definitely be nice to have one on top, on this block, and one on the bottom. So that I can shoot uh, dogs and crawlers. But first things first. Let's just clear this up. Because let me think. Let's just do a few frames. I'm gonna need a bunch of them probably. Uh, no, I don't want to do a thousand. A hundred. 
And let's do some measurements here. Kinda helps me to think. So we have, I have the fence here. I have three blocks in the middle. I could just have a plate on this block. Just protecting the fences a little bit. Even though it doesn't protect them from explosions. Or instead of instead of a, a blade actually I'm gonna have bars so that the blade traps can shoot. But let's say and of course I'm gonna have the the fences upside down so that it goes on the this block underneath so that it catches everybody. So if I have that block there holding the fence, let's just put a symbol for the fence. Uh, something in the middle. So this will be a fence on those two blocks and then I could have for example another one here here in the middle I could have definitely another one like this but the issue is I want to have the dart traps on the same line as the fences so in fact I'm not gonna have the fences on this block I'm gonna have the fences here on the two windows the only problem is, I'm not sure if the dot trap shoots through the electric fence or breaks it down. Another option would be to have the, the dot traps on top, shooting down. That's a good way to get a bunch of headshots. Well, let's just say that I have fences on these spots. couple of fences this like this yeah I'm not sure hmm let's just keep breaking these ones the windows are definitely gonna go this one is kind of nice because it's still closed off and it's really tough these ones have 3,000 hit points so I think here we're done I would definitely just like to figure out a good way to not have the dot traps shoot the electric fences so that i think that's what i'm gonna do i mean i got four blocks where did i put the did i scrap the frames no there they are if i had the dot traps here i could have three so if a zombie gets snapped by these ones he stops right here and he gets shot from above and i could do three like this and another three here. And it should be high enough. I have three. And uh, this should work really well. I can... I, I, I just have to remove that thing over there. Yeah. I don't see uh, why this wouldn't work. I use this system quite a bunch, so I just need... Yeah, but the tripwire post. The tripwire post has to be on the same line as the electric fence, so that it triggers at the same moment. So... Um, I could have the tripwires outside. Not protected. But that would be an option. Because, I mean, if I'm gonna have these windows closed up... Uh, I could definitely have them there. Or I could just remove this block here and put the tripwire post behind the electric fences. I think I might do that. Just close these windows off. Yeah, I mean, if the zombies see a full wall, they're definitely going to try to come from the entrance. Right. So these ones are going to be closed. In fact... I could be standing up there, so I'm gonna change these ones up for a ramp. Put it like this so that I can have a better angle to see. Even though they might try to climb this. Yeah, it might not be a good idea. So let's just put a full block. I might do a ramp on the block above, on that one, so that I can see down in case I'm on that uh, bar over there. So these two will be open. And this here will be closed too. On this room I'm not sure. I might close this off too to put some stuff behind here. But that's the idea so basically I'm gonna have fans, fans, two blocks in between. How did I do here? It's just one in between. But if I do it like this I should have enough room to put in three 
on this side. There you go. And it's a three gap, like here. It's kind of nice. Here I can do the same thing. Fans, fans, and fans. One, two. Here I only got two blocks, but it should be okay. I can put the fans back there. Even though I have to remove this block. But the fans could be there. And dot trap, dot trap, dot trap, dot trap, dot trap. And another line of dot traps here. Yeah. I think this should work. So this thing is a little bit high. I'm not sure I'm gonna how I'm gonna put the dot traps on this one. Uh but but okay. One advantage of having the dot trap over there is that it shoots everything down. So we can shoot crawlers, dogs, everything. The only problem might be if the zombies get snapped but get blocked like a little bit in front. And they might not be on the line of the dart traps. But I mean, there's flaws on any system. The best way would be to have a dart trap right here, facing where I'm at. This would be the best way to actually hit them all the time. One dart trap on this block, another one here, another one here. But then it's going to be on the way, and I kind of want them to have a clear sight to me, a clear way to come in. With this fully enclosed cage, they totally come this way. They didn't try to climb to come to room above. So I don't think this is going to be a problem. Even if I have a couple of hatches, there's just going to be another incentive for the zombies to come this way. Here, I'm not so sure about this one block entrance. There I got three. It doesn't have to be the same in all blocks, in fairness. So let's just upgrade a few things. Uh, with all this talking, I don't have a lot of time to fix all of this up. I believe this is all concrete. It is, so let's fully upgrade it. Holy moly, I got another one. Okay, I think she could have screamed. Sometimes it's tough to know. Just gotta wait to see if someone shows up. I could definitely also turn on the turrets, but I'm gonna waste ammo. <laughs> and I kinda wanna save it. I think we're good. Let's just keep upgrading some stuff. So this one is fine. There you go. Let's upgrade these ones. Another thing that I could do, because I believe I'm not going to have the dot traps, is just to add poles here and stand exactly where I am instead of being inside the cage. Because this way they can see me from there, they can see me from here, from there, and even from there. And with a few poles, I can still melee them here once they get through the fences because eventually they're gonna break and stop working because I'm not gonna be able to reach them and fix them. Maybe I can fix this one here close to me, but the other one definitely not. So having a poles here, it's like a second cage, a larger cage from which I can shoot them in the face or melee them. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to do that. The only real problem is having the trip wire on the same line as the electric fans. I definitely feel like I'm going to break that block and cover it up from the back. And put a trip wire behind the electric fans. But basically the idea is to have a block here. There's no reason not to have this block here. Just to support the fence. I think we can place them upside down even without that thing. But I kind of prefer to have it there. And it kind of looks cool. And uh, having it this way. So I'm just going to remove that block behind. So let's do the same thing here. This is going to be like a full block. And in fact, I can just close this up like this. And this side is just going to be a two side. Or I can just remove this line here. And have this one as a three wide gap. As I have it there. Like this, it's in line with that one. Yeah, I think it's going to work that way. I'm definitely going to remove this block. I think I want to remove also these signs here. And in fact, I might close this wall all the way up. There's no reason to leave this thing open. I'm not going to be on the bars. I'm going to be in here. And this way. 
I can just do the same as I did before. Put this block here. And then add something on top. To place the dot traps there. So that thing is gotta go. Like this. Here it's kind of nice because I already have this block where I could put in the trip wire. Then it's just going to be a matter of how am I going to get back there. Because if I start to install bars in front of this, I'm going to have to think of a way to get in there. Maybe I can go from above. I was thinking maybe I could go from those bars outside and drop and uh, do some work here. I don't know. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put bars in front of the of the fences, but on the blocks in between, I'm gonna put hatches so that I can just go in here and connect to them. Yeah, simple solution. I could even just not use bars at all, just use hatches because they are thin. They're not gonna protect the fences from explosions anyway either if it's a bar or not and the dot traps are gonna be on top so in fact i can just have a bunch of hatches here um and in reality a plate made of concrete has 5000 hit points a hatch made of iron fully upgraded i think it has more than the plate so why not just have a bunch of hatches here so this was really easy for me to work with. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I can just have a plate on this block in front and one underneath is just hatches. So it's just really easy to work with. Yeah, I'm just thinking uh, if I wanna keep it this way. So I think I'm gonna upgrade it to wood or to cobble. Because at least if I want to change something up, it's going to be a little easier to destroy. I don't have a lot of time, definitely. But these things are fast to do. So I just really need to decide what I'm going to do here. So let's just put these things all to cobble. Except for this one, this is going to be concrete. Let me just check. Yeah, it's in the same line. Yeah, it kind of looks cool having it symmetrical. I'm gonna keep this line here for now. On that side I don't have much going on, do I? I of course not. So let's also upgrade this part. And let's install the fences. I can pick them up. Should be fine. So let's just turn them upside down. There you go. There it is. So that's the idea. Let's do the same thing here. Well, there I got three. Here I'm going to have two. Here I'm going to have three. In fact, I can have three on this side too. I don't know why I'm just putting... There you go. Let's pick them up. I can have three on this side too, like over there. One. I don't really have a reason to have a one block separation. I kind of feel like it's better this way. I don't really have a reason for that. A little buffer for the zombie to, to breathe a bit. So let's do the same here. That block is got to go. So let's remove it. Seems to be on the way. And there's another stupid screamer. Oh yeah, this is like a plate. Gotcha. Holy moly. She's fast. I think she definitely screamed. I'm not sure if they know where I am. 
Hello, friends. Please don't destroy my stuff. That would be better. Come on over. Outside. There you go. Are you the last one? There he goes. Okay, let's see. That's all. Yeah, must be. Okay, can we work, please? Thank you. So, fences. There you go. So it connects like this. It doesn't even need that block on top. But I'm gonna put it anyway. Looks cool. So here, I need to remove this one too. Holy moly. Nicely done. There it is. Nice. So let's do the same. Let's add that block on top. Did I scrap? No, I did not scrap. Here, I think I'm just gonna close this off. It's just easier to deal with. And let's upgrade the rest. There you go. Nice, I got two extra points. Sweet. Okay, here we're done. That's where the dot traps are gonna be. I don't have them for now. Let's upgrade these ones too. In reality, it kind of makes no sense or serves no purpose to actually have something protected the fences. Because, as again, if something blows up, they're gonna go away. The only thing that they protect is if the zombies try to hit them. But even so, I mean, it's a voxel game. They can actually hit stuff behind the wall. So, it gives a little bit, but it's not something that's really necessary. I could just leave these things like this. And it would, it would work just fine until they break. Because eventually they're gonna break. So the solution is just to keep making more. They're easy to replace. And... Uh, the goal is just to hold them off as best as they can. So there's the only way in. The only way in. And the only way in. Nice. Let's close this off. Nicely done. So now I'm gonna probably have to install another generator. Because it's a lot of fences. I don't think they take a lot of power. But they're gonna take some. So let's see if the turret is done. And I'm gonna have to think about this side. I might just end up closing this side off. Yeah, why not? Why not just close this side and just give him those three? That's an idea. They, they might, If they come from the north side, they might go straight into the base. At least a few of them are probably going to start hitting the wall. That's just inevitable. But at least most of them are probably going to try to go around and find the entrance. So there's the turret. Let's see what else I can drop here. I got a bunch of crap on me. The real is I think I'm gonna need them, so I got a few more eggs, that's nice, a little bit of food, that's good. And uh, I also have a little bit more plastic, so let's do more steel arrows, since I got them right here. There you go, 17, better than nothing. After the horde nights, I'm just gonna do some selling. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna craft a bunch of mods, because I found a bunch of books in the wasteland. So, 3 minutes. No, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Let's give it 20. 7 minutes. I think it's gonna be a little bit more too. So, let's give it 22. And, uh, I mean, just do a little bit more steel. And you keep doing more for Zion. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. I got these things going. In terms of ammo, I got a bunch. So, let's bring a little bit more for the shotgun tours. Let's bring all this ammo. I'm gonna need a wire tool. And uh, let's drop the candy. And some feathers. Okay, a little bit better. Let's just install the turrets. Which will be... So I got SMG. Shotgun. It's kind of nice that it's crossed. SMG and shotgun. Now. If I close this side... These turrets are going to be a little bit useless. I might move them somewhere else. I could actually just put another wall here. Close this off with a second wall. To definitely not encourage them to come from this side. And move these turrets here. Yeah, it might be better. And this will be my second cage. Yep. I think that's a good idea, uh, because if I'm standing here, 
that if the turret is there, he can shoot here. And that one too. I might be a little bit on the way. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. So I think I'm going to install the turret here on this corner. And this turret can shoot this side. And this turret can shoot that side. So I think it's going to work. I think it's a pretty good idea. Let's put it like this. And uh, let's do the same that I did on that one. Holy moly. Got a warmy horde. Okay, friends. I guess I'll put the, the turret in later. Okay, the fight lady doesn't sing anymore. Who else? I know I heard a bunch of them. Let's see where they went. I don't know. Where did he go? There's a few back there. I guess they must have gone in this direction. But okay, it's working out. Just a little bit more work. I'm gonna have to eat. But uh, I think I think this might work. The last thing is just to add a few blocks here. But then I'm not going to be able to come through this way to access these things. But I can always come from the outside. Yeah, I think it should be fine. That's nice. The second stage has begun. And I'm not sure if it's going to be done in time. Well, let's see. 